Hey Collective, it's your girl Marie Prophetess bringing you another Collective reading. Let's see what's going on, my beautiful Divine Feminines, my beautiful Divine Masculines. Let's see what's going on with the Collective Energy today. Please keep in mind the energy can be past, present, or future. Please take what resonates and discard the rest. Alright, let's see what's coming out here. We have watching ish go down. Okay. We have marrying for money. Mm, okay. We have once you back. Okay. So there could be a divine mass in here that realized that he got into some kind of situation here with someone that genuinely didn't have love for them, for him. This divine masculine wants divine feminine back. This is somebody who could have gotten into a miserable marriage with a karmic. These people, I mean, these people could constantly have drama going on here with watching ish going down. Like there could be a lot of drama going on between this divine masculine and a karmic. This masculine could have definitely married this karmic. Or they're in some kind of relationship here or some kind of connection here. Or this could be a karmic relative or friend that this masculine got into some kind of contract with. Whatever it is, this masculine is realizing that who he attached himself to, this soul tie, this contract, he, it's, it's a lot of drama. It's a lot of drama with this popcorn being here. This is like, I just heard Unreal Lifetime movie, okay? We have once you back. This is a masculine who could be having like nostalgic moments about divine feminine. This is a masculine that wants divine feminine back. All right, let's see. We have meeting. This is coming out sideways. Two or more people discussing or planning. So a couple of people got together here. A couple of people got together and are discussing divine masculine and divine feminine. This could be this divine masculine arguing with multiple people. Or this divine masculine, he could have found out about a group of people getting together. Okay, with grip in reverse, this is a masculine who wants to free himself. With arguments in reverse, this is a masculine that wants to free himself from arguments, constant arguing. This is like barking down, screaming arguments. Yeah, this masculine is on a roller coaster. Yeah. It's a lot of energy going on in this attachment that this divine masculine has with this karmic energy. He found out the truth about something with investigating in reverse. This is some kind of truth that he was blinded to. We're going to take one more here. This is definitely something that he was blinded to. We have expecting and a new beginning. Yeah, this masculine wants a new beginning. Somebody could have gotten pregnant here. This masculine could have ended up in a situation that he wasn't expecting. He could have been expecting a new beginning or some kind of upgrade in his life. And what he realized is who he attached himself to ain't ish. What ain't ish showing up? We have wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay. And what's this? This wanted to jump out and there you have it. Karmic. Third party. Lesson. Karmic lesson. Yeah. So this masculine realized that he wasn't going to get what he wanted out of this situation no matter what he was expecting some kind of new beginning possibly some kind of upgrade some kind of peaceful energy or something great or something better but this masculine this turned out to be something very insidious is what i'm picking up on because he definitely found out that the karmic is nothing but a wolf in sheep's clothing and the karmic ain't ish with ain't ish being here jeez okay <laughs> so funny how that karmic card wanted to come out so bad because i was just trying to pull the wolf in sheep's clothing and it just jumped out while i was picking up that card all right so let's see what's going on here 
Because something is going on. Child. Something is going on. All right, so let's see. We have enjoying ish go down. So there's definitely a lot of, uh, I just heard karma. There's definitely a lot of arguing. There's a lot of people gossiping about the drama between this divine masculine and this karmic energy. So they're arguing in front of people here. All right, let's see what else. What's going on here? Yeah, we got three of pentacles. This came out sideways. This is like a group of people arguing amongst each other. When meetings coming out sideways here too with two or more people discussing and planning, there could be a group of people. It's like this masculine feels like there were a group of people. This group of people right here. This could have been a group of karmics that was against the vibe feminine. And this masculine feels like now these people are just sitting back watching him suffer with this karmic attachment. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're just watch, sitting back watching him suffer. Yeah, this masculine definitely wants a new beginning. With his six of swords, the fool, and the sun. We have Aries Leo energy. Definitely a lot of fire energy. He's stressed out with the nine of swords. There definitely is arguments happening in front of people here. Let's see what else. Yeah, look at that. Three of cups. So, yeah, we got third-party energy, a lot of third-party energy, all under gossip, watching each go down. This is a group of people who talked a lot about Divine Feminine. This is third-party interference. This could be karmic friends, karm a karmic lover, definitely karmic family members I'm picking up on as well. This is a group of people that was all in this Divine Masculine's business with Divine Feminine. This is a group of people who came up with some kind of plan. Three of coins, this is all, three of coins is all about coming up with a plan, working together on something, okay? And then we have meeting, two people coming together, discussing a plan, okay? So it's like these people created some kind of situation and it's like they're just sitting back celebrating, watching Ish go down, just watching Ish go down while this masculine is suffering, attached to this karmic. Somebody could be seeing 333 or 33. That's way too many cards. This master could definitely be having trouble sleeping. Divine Feminine, you could be having trouble sleeping, picking up energy from this masculine. Yeah, we have 10 of coins and the devil and the tower. There you go, Capricorn Scorpio energy. Huh. <sighs> And there we have it. We have the higher font, Taurus energy. Somebody could be a Taurus in this situation, have a strong Taurus placement. Somebody could be a Capricorn here. Somebody could definitely be a Scorpio. Somebody could be a Virgo here as well. A lot of earth energy. This masculine could work with one of these karmics. These definitely could be friends. These could be people that this masculine has gone out with. But these are definitely people who meet up and talk about you, Divine Feminine. These are people that celebrate the separation between you and this Divine Masculine. These people concocted some kind of plan, these karmics here with this three of coins sideways. These people met up on multiple occasions and came up with many ways to cause issues between the foundation of Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine with his Ten of Pentacles showing up. These could be karmic family members with the Ten of Coins and the devil here. But the plan was definitely to destroy some, to destroy somebody's foundation with that tower energy being here. Three people got together to destroy a connection. And now these people are sitting together watching this divine masculine go through, I just heard everything and under like, I don't even, like, I don't even know what that means here. Everything in under, okay, watching this masculine go under, okay. These people are now sitting back watching this masculine. He could be losing a lot here, but definitely suffering in a karmic attachment. Nothing is like what this masculine expected. 
These people aren't who this masculine expected them to be. These are people this masculine trusted with this higher fine energy, but he's definitely learning a lesson. We got karmic lesson over here. We got the wheel of fortune over here. More Taurus energy, more Scorpio energy. Leo Aquarius. These people got together and came up with some kind of plan to destroy the foundation, the trust. These people wanted to break the trust between divine feminine and divine masculine. This masculine is finding out about this. And this masculine is also finding out that this karmic attachment is not who he thought they were. Like these attachments, but especially this karmic lover with wolves in sheep's clothing, he doesn't trust any of these people. This masculine could be suffering from a lot of anxiety. Child, and look how that world card just flew way over here. Like, like right on it. We have the world sideways here, more fixed energy. Something could have happened online. Somebody could have a platform. Somebody could be trying to attack somebody's reputation here. Somebody could have been slandering you, Divine Feminine here. Yeah, look at this, the Queen of Swords and the Empress. We have the Queen of Swords, the Empress, and the Eight of Cups. So we got Taurus Libra energy. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, this is a feminine that's attached to this masculine. And this could be a feminine family member. This person is very jealous of Divine Feminine. This is a person that actually, well, it's like this person was jealous of divine feminine being a divine feminine. This person was jealous of your energy, divine feminine. This person is jealous of your ability to manifest. This person is jealous of the light that you walk in. Whoever this queen of swords is, this is someone who wants divine feminine to walk away from this connection here with the eight of cups. You, this could be somebody's mother. Somebody could be a Pisces here as well with the hangman showing up. Whoever that queen of swords is, this is a person that, this masculine was supposed to draw boundaries on this person, on whoever that feminine energy is, that karmic feminine energy. This masculine doesn't, like, this masculine doesn't have enough boundaries up against these karmic energies. That's why they were able to interfere so much here. Somebody could feel like they have unfinished business with Divine Feminine. We have the Seven of Cups. Okay. And the Queen of Swords is back. She's back. You know what I just got? This masculine has karmic family members that are good friends with a car with whoever this karmic attachment is it's like these people never wanted that door to be closed i'm looking at this three of coins and for some reason i feel like it should be fully upside down but this three of coins is sideways i feel like it should be fully upside down like this masculine detached himself from a karmic energy a karmic lover but these other people, these other karmics that's attached to this masculine, they are still connected to this karmic lover. And that's how this lover has always had like a foot in the door here. These are people that still hang out with this karmic lover. They're still good friends with this karmic lover. It's like divine feminine, this karmic lover could have known a lot of your business here. A lot of your business here, okay? Yeah, with the world card here, it's like this masculine never was able to fully close this cycle because these karmic attachments kept this karmic lover a part of this divine masculine's life. All of this to create a lot of confusion with the seven of cups. They wanted this masculine to be confused, definitely confused about divine feminine. And also it's like, such as the seven of cups can also talk about options. It's like these karmic family members, or friends, these third party karmic energies, they wanted this divine masculine to, it's like they didn't want the door to be completely shut to this karmic attachment, this karmic ex lover. So these people went out of their way. That's how these people would always get together and discuss divine feminine when you was with divine masculine. These people would get together, they would discuss your personal business. 
The sad part is this Divine Masculine was sharing some of his personal business with these karmic family members. And these people would meet up with his three of coins, his three of cups, this meeting. These people would get together, make plans, discuss divine feminine's business, everything. Everything, like these people would come up with ways to concoct situations between divine feminine and divine masculine. What's married for money? Look at that. Three of swords. I could barely get what's marrying for money out. When that flew out. So that's the karmic. The the you know, when I saw the marrying for money, what I what I got was that this divine masculine, he doesn't feel loved. This masculine isn't getting any type of love. This masculine has gotten multiple betrayals here. This masculine realized that he hurt divine feminine. And now he's hurting because these karmic energies betrayed him. This karmic lover betrayed him. It's like she did something here. We got the four of pentacles. She could have hid some money. She could have stolen some money with the four of pentacles showing up here. Four of pentacles, three of swords. We got a lot of threes here. Divine Feminine, you could definitely be seeing 333. Three, three. With the marrying for money and the three of swords and the four of coins, this karmic stole from Divine Masculine, from this Divine Masculine, period. She stole something from him or is stealing something from him. Look at that. The Queen of Swords. This divine masculine mom could be involved here or something like that. Somebody could be, one of these karmics could be an air sign or have a strong air placement. This masculine has his guards up against whoever this is because he, he experienced the hurt here. He knows what's going on. Somebody stole something here. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody stole this masculine's financial foundation or something like that here. This masculine took a big financial loss. Okay. Whoever this queen of swords is, this woman does not like divine feminine at all. I mean, at all. These people will get together and discuss you. Come up with ways to try to cause confusion about you. Yeah, we have the, the Magician and the Queen of Cups. Aries Energy. These people would get together and talk about putting spell work on Divine Feminine. There could be a masculine who somebody put spell work on him to try to steal his finances or something like that or make him... I don't know why I just heard illiterate or something like that. It's like Divine Feminine. These people got together and discussed all your personal business. They discussed plans against you. These people could have discussed putting spell work on you. These people could have tried to project some kind of energy to make it look like you were disingenuous about something here. Four Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. For some of you guys, these people could have told this Divine Masculine that Divine Feminine was sick. With this magician, four of swords, and the queen. I said queen of wands. I made queen of cups. Oh, no. Why? Well, I feel confused. These people wanted to create a lot of confusion. I can't even see the cards right. Yeah, it's almost like so weird. It's like these people could have been doing some kind of mind manipulation spells. Like for like somebody here is either like a serious gaslighter or something or was doing some kind of spell work to try to mess with somebody's perception of reality here. Divine Feminine, you could have trouble sleeping or it could be taking you a long time to recover from 
like basic illnesses. Like maybe you usually recover from a cold in three days. All of a sudden you sick for nine days, Divine Feminine. Somebody wanted you to be sick. Yeah. Queen of Cups. For, look at this. We have the Queen of Cups, Four of Swords. Ten of Wands and the Page of Wands. And don't forget, we had the Magician. Next to this Queen of Swords. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, this person hates Divine Feminine's guts. Is what I'm picking up on. Divine Feminine, you could have had trouble sleeping. Look at this. You could have had dreams that you were trapped. Or you could have had like, like paralytic sleep spells. Like where you just couldn't move, Divine Feminine. Yeah, like you could have suffered from sleep paralysis, Divine Feminine, multiple times. You could have had all kinds of nightmares or something. Okay. Let's see what else. Actually, let me see what else is going on there. Because that's just crazy. It's like these people, it's like Divine Feminine, you are in the way for these people. It's like these people needed to get you out the way. You can't even move on from there. Like, what is going on over there? Tell me more about this um, spell. Where it's like Divine Feminine, you had to get out of the way. These people, they have plans for this Divine Masculine, and you were in the way, Divine Feminine. We have ancestors. This came out. This came out sideways. This masculine could have like a lineage of karmics. There could be like multi generational like karmic energy going on with this masculine, or this is like a past life karmic. You know what I'm also getting divine feminine for some of you, these karmic, especially this karmic, this queen of swords here that did some kind of spell work. Somebody was playing with spell work here. This person was trying to remove like your divine protection or something like that. Something bounced back here. <laughs> Boy, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. These people, it's like they tried to do something to Divine Feminine to remove your karmic, your um, your ancestral protection. Y'all forgive me, it's hard for me to speak. It's like there's a lot of confusion spells that was going on here. I could barely get my words out. You could have had a problem communicating Divine Feminine, where it was hard for you to communicate. Stuttering where you're not usually stuttering. Hard to explain yourself, finding you, finding yourself getting frustrated or something. But anyways, with this coming out, look at what it says. What's a goon to a goblin? Okay, these people are ready to fight you, ready for assault. And then we have what's, this came out in reverse. What's a goon to a goblin? Yeah, these people tried to do some kind of spell work here. Whoever these karmics are, especially this Queen of Swords. Especially this Queen of Swords. Try to remove your divine protection and got checked with this what's a goon to a goblin. Baby, <laughs> listen, not tell them how you really feel, divine feminine. You could have had to tell somebody here how you really feel. You could have had to tell somebody how you really feel. Could have been this queen of swords or this divine masculine for not checking this queen of swords we have tell them how you really feel somebody told them how they really feel i can't take it no more it's time to call you out on all of this sword energy is what we're looking at here okay look at this we have more popcorn gossip fighting energy here these people just love to sit back and watch the effery they create it when there is none. Divine Feminine, what I said earlier, we got popcorn energy here. 
of every of a showdown going on this divine masculine is arguing with multiple karmics here i picked up this energy in another reading arguing with multiple karmics here and he could be arguing with multiple karmics here about some kind of spell work or about some stolen money something like that he definitely knows that these people got together and concocted multiple plans here and that they definitely were getting together to discuss divine feminine with wolf in sheep's clothing karmic ain't ish this masculine knows exactly what these people are one more over here because the divine feminine you got these people getting together getting together to meet up um, and talk about you these people not even getting together with an accountant to talk about their finances their business they're not getting together with their doctor to talk about their health no they getting together to talk about you divine feminine because that's how obsessed these people are with you okay there's no one else like you divine feminine you a unicorn you a unicorn somebody here wants to be you <laughs> somebody here wants to be you and more popcorn energy right here on the bottom these people can't stop watching you divine feminine and these people can't stop gossiping about you. And these people were found out in some kind of way. And somebody stole some kind of money here. And this person is caught. And this divine masculine is arguing with multiple people here. Multiple people. Child, divine masculine, divine feminine tried to tell you. Tried to tell you. What else? Yeah. We got the wheel fortune in reverse. We got karma. And this is for, I want you back. And we got the devil at the bottom. So this masculine attached himself to a karmic with the wheel of fortune in reverse and the devil. So definitely Capricorn energy is here. And now this masculine can't stop thinking about divine feminine. This masculine wants you back. You could have seen this masculine as a karmic, okay? This masculine is learning a lesson with that wheel of fortune in reverse. And it flew right on top of the car. It flew way over there, right on top of the car. This masculine is fighting with a lot of people. With the amount of times that we've seen that popcorn energy, people, it's like there are fights happening in public here. In public. Somebody could be a Scorpio, an Aquarius, in a Leo, a Taurus. Or Capricorn. Yeah, Sagittarius as well. Yeah. Five of Cups. Come on. I want you back. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Five of Cups. This masculine is in regret. Look, he's getting karma. He's in a karmic cycle. He wants a new beginning with this Ace of Coins. He thought something was going to be a good thing for him, but it turned out to not be. This group of people... It's like, I feel so much confusion. Like I have to keep blinking when I look at the cards. I have to stare at them. Even when I look at them, I still, it's, it's like the cards look like there's something else here. There's so much confusion in this energy that I'm picking up. This masculine, he could have been behaving like he was just very confusing. It's like Divine Feminine, he could have started playing a lot of games with you. Like he didn't know what he wanted. Or it's like things that, he valued he no longer value like no longer value whatever type of spell work because this magician is at the center of this and the seven of cups is right here whatever this is this is like some kind of mind manipulation magic or something or there are multiple master gaslighters here or something but i'm getting like mind manipulation magic confusion spells or something like that these people were jealous because you're different, Divine Feminine. This masculine blew up on these people. There was definitely an argument that recently happened here. I don't know why I'm picking up on recent. This could definitely be going down now, but this could also be future energy or, or recent past or past. There's no time in, in the 5D. It's just divine timing. Yeah, this masculine... It's like he called somebody out on something here. Possibly called somebody out on this stolen money. 
Okay, what's the want you back? Will of Fortune reverse and five of cups. This is a person that regrets how things went with divine feminine. Getting us getting karma right here. We got the six of swords and the knight of pentacles. So this is a masculine that wants to move towards divine feminine. But he could know that you're very guarded. Okay, with this nine of wands here. He could know that you're very guarded. Somebody could here could be good with their hands or something, divine feminine. You could be good with your hands. Or like you create things. You could be very creative here, divine feminine. Somebody could be building something here. Building an online business or something like that. Or getting some kind of work done in their home. This masculine here. This is a masculine that's going to make his way to divine feminine with the six of swords and the knight of coins. This is just very slow. This is, this is just very slow. This masculine's finances could be slow as well. Like Divine Finley, you could have experienced a lot of delays while dealing with his masculine while he was operating in a karmic energy for some of you. Yeah, Two of Cups. This wanted to come out sideways. They kind of did, but didn't. Yeah, this, but this is about getting back into a partnership with once you back into a cups and a knight of cups. This masculine is still in love with divine feminine. This masculine is still in love with divine feminine. Jeez. Let's see what we got here. The Empress is now the Emperor. Big boss energy, intimidated body or energy, divine feminine. Okay. So this masculine, it's like you could have healed. You could have been leveling up. Yeah, you could be, you could be a high priestess. We have archangel stepped in and helped transform you, divine feminine. They had enough of you being attacked. It's over. No more ish. B B I S H. Sit down. Okay. So divine feminine, you are protected. That's why these karmics was trying to knock down your divine protection and they failed. They failed. Your archangel stepped in. They had enough of it. Divine feminine, you are very guarded here. This masculine could be picking up on that. And you're definitely a high priestess with this high priest energy showing up. Strong cancer energy showing up. Aries energy, Aries Taurus. Yeah, the sun. Leo energy. Somebody has clarity now. Somebody has clarity now. I I just like, I don't know why I just saw like with this magician energy, this magician has clarity now. Whoever this queen of swords went and hired to do some kind of spell work against this divine feminine, this magician, whoever this occultist is, it's like something is bouncing back on this occultist. This occultist regret doing spell work against divine feminine. They regret accepting this person's money because something is even bouncing back on the occultist. And it's going back to this queen of swords. This occultist could be doing some kind of spell work to move this back to the queen of swords because it's the energy is coming back to her. My goodness, what in the world is going on here? Or the occultist is pissed off. Because it's bouncing back to the Queen of Swords as well. But it's like the occultist is upset here. Hold on. So, this karmic feminine hired an occultist to do spell work to remove divine feminine's divine protection. Only to find that divine feminine has a bloodline. Okay of high priestesses and high priests that you have big energy here see didn't know and now this energy is coming back to this occultist 
and whomever hired them. And now this occultist is pissed off and doing spell work on her own client. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. You gotta be kidding me, boy, Divine Feminine. You got them shook. You got them shook. What's this meaning? Okay, we're doing meaning. We got the page of wands. These people got together and was cooking up something, planning something, planning ultimate betrayals, planning multiple trades. We have meaning. Two people getting together, discussing and planning. These people whipping up something with this page of wands energy in the kitchen here. And then we got the Ten of Swords. These people were getting together, making mischievous plans, insidious plans for betrayals against a relationship with this Ten of Swords and this Four of Wands. This could definitely be somebody's twin. You gotta be kidding me. I cannot with these people here. What else? Something is here that's flipped. We have the Queen of Wands. Somebody could have a child with this masculine or you was pregnant at one point. These people are so jealous, Divine Feminine, with Queen of Wands being here under this meeting. These people would talk about how you look, Divine Feminine. These people were jealous of how you carry yourself, your energy, how you look, how attracted this Divine Masculine is to you, how you just attract abundance. These people are just so jealous. These people didn't like how things were just so balanced with you, how your energy was just so balanced. It's like you were sunshine, divine feminine. Okay, it's like you brought clarity to this masculine with this Leo. Okay, with this Leo Libra energy. I don't know why somebody's name could start with an L or something like that. Somebody could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius here or a Libra. I don't know why this compass just stood out to me on this Queen of Wands neck. These people were literally trying to control the connection between Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. That's what they would meet up and discuss that. These people are, oh my God, these people are sick. Divine Feminine, you could have said these people were sick. We have the Ace of Swords. Okay, and the page of coins. Divine Feminine, these people were studying you. These people could have been trying to study your energy. Studying your birth chart. Studying you. Wanting to know everything about you. For some of you, these people were trying to know your child's father. For some of you, they were even trying to figure out, learn about your education. Yeah, we have... We have the hangman and the page of coins. These people wanted to be enlightened about you, Divine Feminine. They wanted to know everything about you. These people are plotting against Divine Feminine here. This masculine be, like gains clarity about these people and their little meetups. With the Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups, yeah, these people were discussing also about like they were discussing divine masculine's emotions for divine feminine they could have even said that divine feminine was taking advantage of this masculine or something or wasn't genuine with this masculine they could have lied and said that divine feminine was still in love with an ex or something like that that was rejecting her with the King of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. They could have said that your ex rejected you. These people were definitely discussing Divine Masculine's emotions for Divine Feminine and wanted Divine Feminine to get rejected. Look at that, Four of Cups. Still want to make a move here. What else? Jeez. Okay. We got the Four of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Six of Cups sideways. So this masculine, he's learning about what has happened in the past. 
Whatever energy these people sent to Divine Feminine with the Four of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, I feel like something was returned here. This masculine is finding out how a lot of arguments, a lot of how a lot of situations came to be when it comes to these karmics and how they interfered in his connection with Divine Feminine. Now, this reading is getting too long. Let's try to get through this. Hey, King of Swords sideways. Somebody's corrupt here. Somebody's corrupt. Somebody's abusive. This masculine's mother could be abusive. Somebody could abuse children here. We have the Nine of Cups. Somebody was sending some kind of crazy dream spell work here as well. Somebody could be in some kind of, have some kind of legal issue or something here. Let's see what else. What else here? This is just like all over the place. I'm sorry, you guys. This energy is just so confusing. So I hope you guys can put this <laughs> together because this is just so confusing. We have Psalms 91. In reverse, a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not harm you. Your eyes will see the wicked punished. Something was returned to sender. These people sent some kind of very like aggressive spell work or something like that to a divine family. You could have had some kind of sleep paralysis or some kind of nightmares or something like that. This masculine could be suffering from nightmares or something like that. Somebody was doing anything here. We got just sticking it in anything, karmic, trash king, or like these people were doing like all kinds of spell work here. Like they resorted to just doing anything. And that's why your ancestors stepped in, your archangels stepped in here. We got ancestors stepping in, archangels stepping in. High priestess, a lineage of high priestess energies, ancestors stepping in. Because these people, they just started doing any kind of spell work. We have private eye, spell work, paranoid. Let's see what this says here. Paranoid. Pe paranoid about what people are saying. The streets are talking about this person's business. These people are arguing in public. These karmics could be arguing with each other in public. And these people were literally at one point just researching spell work and trying anything on Divine Feminine. And now these people are like paranoid with each other or something like that. What is going on here? This is so much. We have body shaming in reverse. It's like they could have been doing beauty spells. These people tried all kinds of spells. They just tried anything here. On top of lying and trying to like investigate divine feminine here. We have the sour body secretions lady here. This karmic was jealous of Divine Feminine. You showed up as a unicorn. Now look at that. Divine Feminine, you showed up as a unicorn. And the karmic feminine showed up as the sour body secretions lady. I cannot. These people work with this showing up all under this meeting. These people get together and talk so nasty about Divine Feminine. These people literally talk. Like, it's disgusting, the things that they say about Divine Family. All not true. All out of jealousy. Look. Didn't I say Divine Family? What did I say? The Jack A is a -ing. The Jack Ass is assing. Okay? Trying to see everything, but couldn't see anything. These people was trying to know your business with this Ace of Swords, this Knight of Cups, and this Six of Swords, Six of Cups sideways. And these people still couldn't learn your business, Divine Feminine. And everything they did to you still went back to them. And this masculine still found everything out. Somebody stole his money. This person could be under investigation themselves. Somebody could have forged a signature. I was picking up that energy on the last reading. These people were celebrating. These people thought that they got away with this. But these people are, are now suffering. I cannot. What else? This is just too many cards. Yeah, look at this. 
goofball. Stupid is as stupid does. This fool out here looking dumb, dumber and dumber. This came out in reverse. Divine Feminine, these people thought that you would, I don't know if these people thought you were slow. These people thought that you were spiritually weak. That's what they thought. They thought that they would get away with this, but they didn't. Okay? They thought that they would get away with this, but they didn't. They, you won't always be held spiritually accountable. Always. You can't escape the divine. You can't escape your karma. You can't escape that. So to even, for them to even think they were going to get away with this, how? You were looking all in Divine Feminine's energy, trying to see everything, but you couldn't see nothing. Right then you knew Divine Feminine was divine. You knew that. And now this occultist is so pissed off that she's sending spell work to who hired her? To this Queen of Swords. No matter what life throws at you, you've made your way. Ain't that something? What else over here? Under expecting a new beginning. What's this? This snake lame liar didn't see this lame coming. Yeah, it's like divine feminine. This masculine could have lied to you. This masculine could have snaked you. But, but this masculine, what he didn't see coming was these wolves in sheep's clothing. Okay? And like I said, with that confusion energy, look at it. Look at it. I could barely get my words out. Like my mind is like, I feel so confused. Somebody worked really hard to cause confusion, but that is over. You solved the case and you got the truth. Baby, y'all try to, it's like these karmics. Y'all try so hard to hide, but baby, I'm going to always keep exposing y'all for what y'all are. Y'all try so hard to hide this karmic energy, but no, you always going to get exposed over here. With Mermaid Prophetess, you don't get exposed. They worked really hard to create this confusion. And still solve the case. I still solved it. Like y'all are exposed here. Doing confusion spells. Look at it, Divine Feminine. It's the way you pop and the way you laugh through your pain. How you still, how you still fly is so high. Like Divine Feminine, they can't take you no matter what they have done to you. Even when you was going through this, you still got up and you still did what you had to do. You still healed. You still leveled up. And now this masculine here, this could definitely be your twin flame. Now he's going through his ascension. Karmic is exposed for not being anything, baby. Karmic ain't. Stop playing with us. What else? We have time to make the changes you know you need to make. Shake it up, switch and flip. This masculine is, is about to change things around. We have greed, overindulgence. This masculine is realizing that these people were never genuine with him. They were never genuine with him. These people are karmic energies. These people are exposed for what it is that they've been doing. I cannot. Child. Okay, let's get through this, and then I'm going to go over to the extended reading, you guys. I'm going to start getting you guys out some more videos. Oh, it's been so much going on. Okay, we have music. We have family. You know, on this music card, it, said, it actually says Snake Charmer on this card. Oh, Lord. The cat that jumped on my desk, y'all. Hold on. Sugar, please. Okay, and then we have family. It says generations. Yeah, divine feminine. This masculine with music and family being here. It's like these people, there could be a mom and a sister involved here for sure. Or just multiple family members, some way older than you, divine feminine, or something like that. Okay. These people are used to being able to control this masculine. Yeah, break up, ghosted, wedding, crossroads. They're usually able, it's like they have a say-so in this masculine's life. They've always been able to manipulate and control him. What else? We have friend requests, divine feminine. You could be getting trolled online. It's like this masculine tells these people with this moon energy, spicy cancer energy, everything when it comes to his soulmate connection with divine feminine. You could have like been changing this masculine here. 
And these people didn't like it. So it's like with this friend request being here, these people could have said, let me better. Let me decide or something like that. Somebody felt like they had the right to make the decision about divine feminine. Okay. That's what somebody felt. All right. So let's get into the Zodiac signs here. And then I'm going to go into the extended reading. We're going to go into how this situation plays out. We're going to go into what's the spiritual advice for divine feminine. We're also going to go into what this masculine's intentions are for divine feminine. Okay. And we're going to go into what's the, um, What's the um, spiritual advice for Divine Feminine? I'm so confused, you guys. I don't even know if I said that right. Okay, I got cards dropping. That was Taurus that just hit the floor. I'm going to keep that. Hold on. So we got Taurus. We got Aries energy. So we got Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy for sure. Okay. And you guys, um, I do have some a couple of sponsorships. In the description box, make sure you check that out. Get 20% off of some Zodiac cards here. The ones that I've been using for my last couple of readings. I don't think I use them today, but still check them out. You get 20% off from Spiritual Illusions 1111. Okay, that details is in the description box below. Let's see what other signs could be related here. We have Gemini. We have Taurus, Aries, and Gemini energy here. Somebody could have a strong Taurus, Aries, Gemini placement. Okay. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, seventh house, eleventh house. What we got here? We got Virgo energy. Somebody could be a Virgo. Told you guys, I'm sorry. This energy is like confusing. So I don't even know if I'm closing out correctly or what. Okay. We have Aquarius energy. Let's see what else. Too many. Yeah, too many. One more. Let's see what other signs could be involved. This could be your sign, the karmic sign, okay, or divine masculine sign. Let's see. Please flip and switch the roles as you see fit. Mas um, energy can be masculine or feminine. Too many cards. Just need one more. Jeez, so stubborn. This is stubborn. Jeez. Can we get one? All right, we'll take that. All right, we got Libra energy. And then we got Pisces at the bottom. Pisces being wanting to show up at the bottom. Okay, so we got Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces energy. You can have any of those signs very strongly placed in your birth chart. Divine Masculine can or, um, or the Karmic can, okay? So you guys, I'm going to the extended reading. We're going to see how the situation plays out for Divine Masculine. We're going to see what his intentions are towards divine feminine we're also going to see what the spiritual advice is for divine feminine okay i hope you guys understood this reading because i had a hard time getting this out a lot of confusion spell work in this reading okay so i will catch you guys on the next one bye <laughs>